Ladies and gentlemen, it is once again breakout time on today's special event. We are taking off the gloves. We are joined by another episode of Behind the Gloves. Today we're joined by the coming event of Breakout 04 New World Order, July 27th, 2024. Over the past couple of days, things have heated up. The energy has shifted. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an entirely brand new fight. We're joined today by Devon Xavier and the Main Card Podcast for our Behind the Gloves format. If you guys do not know about this format, please watch Iza versus DDK, which has previously previously released. We're going to be asking them some rapid-fire questions and then leading into our second segment for some viewer questions. If you want to be a part of Breakout Behind the Gloves, stay tuned to Breakout Twitter. Whenever there's an event around, and that tweet goes out, you have a chance to ask your question. Gentlemen, it is good to see you. It is great to How see you, doing? Pat. How I'm so doing? relieved to great see you. Cheap. I've missed you. Before we get into things, people have seen your face-to-face. -face. People who I've been following along on Twitter the past couple of days have seen. This fight is heated up. So how are we feeling about each other? John's a bitch. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it seems like this John fight is a bitch. Up. He's just, I'll just let him get his insecurities yeah, out, and then we can see what he does. So there he goes. Yeah, there he yeah, goes. Yeah, yeah. There he goes, yeah. 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 All right. we can, you can get it out, man, and then we can speak like an, like an adult. It looked like it looked like you shaved your beard a little bit. You trying to look good for me? I sh I shaved my beard. It's the same length that what I had it, bro. Don't fl don't flatter yourself. Don't flatter yourself. Why don't you put on a different do rag next time? Why don't you Why don't you actually look good for the why, camera? Why don't you time? present yourself better? You look You look like you are give fresh a fuck out of about bed. You. That's why I don't give a fuck about and you. and I don't That's give why. a fuck about you. Like okay, but you on, obviously what? do because you made because you said because you said I made things personal. So obviously you give a fuck. Cause you're trying I'm to you're trying to over bro is trying to drag my content, bro. Yeah, what? Drag your bro, content. come on now, keep going. Okay, hold on now. Let Pat do what he got to do. I mean, I'm following what's real, bro. Let Pat do what bro. he got to do. Cause fact, over, I mean, if the shoe nah. fits, if the shoe fits, yeah, fake as hell. You are gonna keep sucking my dick, bitch? Fuck is you talking about? Okay, we have previously decided that John will be answering the first question. Ugly tubby fat fuck goes first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You it's win. time to get behind the gloves. First question, going over to John. Favorite 04 fighter? Fuck, that's a hard one. Uh, let's go DDK. Divine. Ah! Texuke. Texuke, okay. Divine. Describe each other. Describe the main card podcast in one word. Consistent, ugly as fuck. Uh, terrible content. He said, he said one lazy. word. He said. I think he said one word. Okay, I don't know my, if you can hear instructions. My, but... my word. My word is inconsistent. That's my word. Inconsistent. Unreliable. Those. That's my word. Okay, that's two words still. I don't know if you can follow instructions, but John. Anyway, describe Divine oh. Xavier in one word. Fringy. John, what is your best punch? Uppercut. Divine, what is your best punch? This motherfucking right hand. Divine. <clears throat> is this the toughest opponent that you could have had? Hell no. Nah. Main card. Is this the toughest? He knows that. No, no, hold on. He knows that because he knows that because if I didn't pull in, he would fight Ran. And he still didn't respond to that, by the way. I would I would have took it, though. I would have took the oh, fight oh, with Ran because I'm not, yeah, I'm not right, a bitch. What are you talking about? Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. It is a bitch. John, is Devon the toughest opponent you could have had? Yeah, I think so. I think so. John, what round does this fight end? I mean, I think if we're being real, I think it goes to the decision. Divine, what round does this fight end? Hey, look, I, I, I would never lie in my life. I ain't gonna lie, it's probably gonna go to the decision. I ain't gonna lie with you. Divine. What is the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal? Yes. Can't say. Can't say. Can't say. John. I'm, I'm not allowed to. What is the ultimate goal? Uh, get a win and ride off in the sunset. 
John. <laughs> With Princess Fiona. Yeah. What is your Hell biggest yeah, inspiration, John? Uh, my biggest inspiration, probably my father. Divine. What is your biggest inspiration? My family. Divine. Your boxing style is similar to. <clears throat> Esau Cruz. John, your boxing style is similar to. <laughs> no, I mean, no one. I mean, I've been doing this for less than a month. No one. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. No one. Okay. John. Me. What is your biggest fear? Being buried alive. Divine, what is your biggest fear? Failure. Divine. Describe this fight in one word. Main card's a bitch. John, describe this fight in one word. Uh, banger. John, what is your biggest regret so far? Not promoting sooner. Divine. What is your biggest regret so far? I don't have any. You're not. You're allowed I, to I, have. Yeah. Bro, fuck. I. Fuck. I can't even think of one to be honest. Divine. The person in the scene I dislike the most is. <sighs> I want to name drop right now. Do I really want to name drop? I think you should name drop. No, because it's so unnecessary, bro. Uh, look, everybody knows who he is, and uh, you know it, it's just it. You know, I, I, I bro, I can't, bro. It, it, it just, I, Same answer. It, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like we, I feel like we've, we yeah. have the same answer. Yeah, of course we do. Okay, well, I guess maybe we will find that out soon. John, <laughs> one year down the road, I will be. Mm. One year down the road, I will be. Um, way more successful. Divine. One year down the road, I will be. In a position to spread knowledge and inspiration. My last question is to the both of you. Are you ready? Yes. I'm no. Actually, actually, no. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm not ready. I'm not ready because I can never ever be fully ready. I can never be fully ready. Nobody can ever be fully ready for something. You can always do better. Always do better. All right, Mentally, ladies and gentlemen. Are you just not going to let you, you know, Pat? No, Pat's just not going to let me answer. No, you can. Yeah, yeah. No, you can answer. No, 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 you go, John. Uh, mentally, I think I'm ready. Physically, boxing wise, skill wise, I'm not ready, but I will be come July 27th. Okay. Well, gentlemen, that was the ends. The, that ends our first part of Behind the Gloves. Now we roll into our viewer submitted section. If you guys want to ask a question for any gentleman in the future for any future fight. You guys will have the opportunity to do so by going over to Breakout Boxing's Twitter. And when we post that tweet, that's your time to ask your question. And there's a good chance that you might have your question answered on another episode of Behind the Gloves. We asked our viewers over on Twitter what their questions were. And this is what people came up with. So, gentlemen, are we ready for our second part of Behind the Gloves? <laughs> the gloves are still off. All right. Well, I guess that answers my question. All right, my first my first question comes from at official Iza, the main event. What is next for both you guys? What is both of your guys' next a potential opponent in the scene? And what do you guys think of your potential? I butchered that question by Iza, but you get the point. Yeah, I get the point. Um, honestly, no one. Uh, Divine's name just had an, I just had interest in that. Like, if someone comes along in the future and wants to do something and it interests me, I mean, honestly, the only person that I probably would want to fight is Poseidon. But that's that's all you, my guy. Can't can't do that because that's that's Pat's meat. That's Pat's fresh meat. So, 
I appreciate that. Devon, what's next for you? Your potential? Maybe what's next for you? In terms of boxing, I'm going to just keep on training. Uh, like I said, I got some people on the radar. The only person that I'm publicly going to name is Rand because at some point we got to run it because obviously Rand is a good person in the scene. But, you know, um, bes besides that, um, that aside, uh, I'm going to just keep training and uh, I'm going to just let things come to me as they should. And I'm going to just keep doing what I got to do. All righty. My next question comes from the man himself, Lezra Gomez at Lezra M. Gomez. What's the backstory here? Why did both guys choose each other as their breakout debut fight? <clears throat> you want to answer that human check? You got you want you want me to do it? Like, you, I, like you, I've been doing. I mean, I mean, like I, I mean, I, I answered doing. first last time. I mean, you, all right, all right. I, 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 I'll, 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 I always got to do everything. So pretty much this 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 what happened. So I'm not even gonna get into the whole thing because, like I said, I'm trying to save it. But pretty much, main card is just he is just somebody who is uh, he's just he is just John. John is John. People who know John know that John is John. And well, you see, I I when I when I do something, I like to I like to get it done. I'm I'm gonna get shit. I'm gonna make shit happen. I, I don't know if Lesnar wants to recall what happened at the fighter house whenever he couldn't find the strainer, and then I flipped that kitchen upside down, and then in about 20 seconds, I found the strainer because I make shit happen, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a make shit happener, and John is a make shit fucking delay, delayer, and uh, you know, we had some we had some animosity before nobody knew about, and so it just made sense. It just made sense. Honestly. John, what about you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, kind of same answer. I mean, I just think there wasn't anyone that really made sense. And then uh, Rafi pulled out. And then he's, dude, he's like, he's such a 13 year old. It's just like, I can't even take him seriously right now. But, anyways, but uh, Rafi pulled out. Um, I fortunately saved him. Um, then I put him on the now co main event because without me, I don't think he would have gotten on that co main event, especially with Rafi. <laughs> But you were Rafi. I just now. Uh but yeah, I'm no, I saved the, I that. saved that I saved this crazy. event. I saved this event uh for you. Not this whole entire event, but I saved this event for you. And I feel like you should just be thanking me. If anything. I don't know why you're getting so butthurt. I think you should just be thanking me for what I've done for you now. Cause you would have had to fight Ran and then your hype would have been just down because everyone like, would have known what when, when, bro win or lose it doesn't matter if i win or lose that's the I thing it does. doesn't matter if i win or lose because bro <laughs> i'm, I'm the most creative motherfucker i'm the most creative motherfucker in in, in, in there the goes world. his ego like, there goes his ego like i people, don't have an ego i'm just saying people, i'm so people creative, like, like i would be able to like, take it i would be able to take it i would pause, okay that, no diddy that, i'd be able to take yeah, it you pause, know what i'm saying yeah, yeah pause yeah no diddy i'd be able to take it Okay, that's all well, I'm saying. I did. I mean, I think it matters a little bit whether you win or lose. But anyways, I, I just, I think you should be thanking me instead of. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Okay, well, well, I'm maybe you'll thank me after I. Maybe you'll thank me after I beat you for three rounds, and then maybe you shake my hand. And thank maybe, me. maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe, okay, good. Maybe I will. All right. Yeah. My next question is um to main card from um. Uh, Divine at Divine Xavier XX. Why does Drawn look like human Shrek? The funny beard. thing is, is I gave him that joke. Like the funny thing is, is like back when we were boys, like when like, I mean, he doesn't think we're boys because he thinks it's personal. I still like him, but he's like just you know all butthurt about this, you know, fight this shit, fight. But anyways, but um, he, I gave him that joke, and now he's running with it. So I mean, he can just he can use that. So what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? It's about fine. It? I'm just pointing it out. I'm just pointing it out. I mean, okay, okay. You've been running with that for like the past two days, and I'm just saying it's. My joke I gave to you, so you're welcome. Are you mad that it's your another joke? situation? Another situation where you should be thanking me. I well, I'm, I'm still not going to thank you. Okay, well, I'm just saying you should be because you're not an adult. I'm, I'm not. Thank you. I know because you're. I know. I know you because you're a child and you don't <laughs> not know. You know, you. you know, like regular manners, but you know you should be thanking me. I know. I know you won't, but it's okay. I get it. <laughs> Your child. You're, you're, lucky you're, you're, you're lucky you're sexy. Otherwise, I would be saying the most devious things about you right now. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just... All right. What you had to say that for? <laughs> My next question goes over to the main card. Actually, no, it's from the main card. Um, at the main card podcast, <laughs> Divine, 
Um, why does Divine make 14 plus Coco Melon videos? I mean, personally, I don't understand how it's content for kids. I mean, I could see some of them, but I mean, I just, I just make what I'm, I make what pops in my head. You know what I'm saying? So you, I, I, I literally don't know how to explain it. I literally have no idea how to explain it. All right. My next question um, goes over to the both of you from um, Pat Typhlusion at Typhlusion. Yo, bruh, is this even real? Y'all were Fortnite besties. What caused this beef? Inconsistency. That's literally the only thing I'm going to say. Inconsistency. What, what about you, John? What, like, what started this beef, bro? Um, You know, he he was just posting a bunch of shit right after the fight. I thought everything he was doing was corny, so I called him out on it. Just, you know, to get give him, you know, the co-main event. You know, I gave him, I gave him that, so... You know, but, you know, I just, I just, you know, thought he was corny. I just called shit how it was, and then he got butthurt about it. But I get it. He's younger. He's just, you know, still trying to, still trying to figure out in this world, and you know, but, you know, he'll learn that you shouldn't get butthurt by just little things like that. The world is a lot harder than that. Okay. Well, um, we got a, another one from Esta Tien, um, at uh, uh, Esta Tien. Um, I, I hope I pronounced that name right. He has three questions. Number one, Divine, what round do you think you are going to KO the main card? 37, 37 seconds. 37 seconds in. That would make you the fastest stoppage of small creator boxing. 37 Two. seconds. Main card. Do you really think you stand a chance against Divine? And if so, why? Yes. Because I'm training a lot harder. I'm doing a lot better in my training than I already know. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm smarter. I think I'm better. So that's why. All right. Next question. If you win, who do you want to fight next? Who's that for? Both of you guys. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to let it come to me. Yeah. Same. No diddy. All right. No diddy. Carline at Carline one nine zero four asks <clears throat> question for Divine. Kid. Could we see a face off between him and Meaty when not if he wins? Also, main card smells bad. <laughs> it's just not a question. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you never know. You never know. <laughs> you damn near might. Shit. That's what I'm talking about. This the thirteen year olds are invading this interview, talking about him beating his own meat. What 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 is name one thing notable that you have done in your career? What does Keep that in mind, do, you what, does that with what I just said. What is it? What does that have to do with what I just said? Keep it name one way. notable thing. Yeah, mine is meaty, right? Meaty. You know what I'm saying? Like meaty, like yeah, yeah. La, 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 la. like what have you done that's you're, notable? So you're so can I can I just ask a question before I answer? It may be ridiculous, quick? but yeah, no, no, but no, no, but can I, but can I ask a question? So you are known for beating your own meat. And yet you're YouTube still known and... for I'd rather be known for nothing than beating my own meat on YouTube. Okay, okay, okay. I mean it's right. I mean I think that's pretty obvious, right? Right, okay, yeah, totally. Yeah. I, I, I think yeah. so. I don't know. Yeah. To each their own, Yikes. I guess. I believe Yikes. I yeah. I, I find <laughs> exactly. generally by the name of Typhlusion asked this question um and <clears throat> didn't even answer it. Yo, bro, is this even real? Um, I, I guarantee you the could the audience is gonna be asking that question. Th this th this is real right here. Like this 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 is all. Yeah, like, I explained it. Inconsistency. That whole that me explaining inconsistency. That's the whole, that's the whole thing. That's the whole premise of everything that's going on right now. Because this he's, a, is, it, he's he's just he's upset because he was a really he's actually like backstory. He was one of my first fans on my podcast. Like back in the day, he was one of my first followers and. uh he watched my podcast since the beginning, and I think he's just, you know, life shit got in the way for me. You know, I started slowing down a little bit, and I think as a fan, he got a little upset about it. You I, know, would, he's I, like, I would, I, I, I would, he's like, where up, am I? Hold on, let me finish. Up, he said, he said, where are the podcasts that I love so much? This, this used to be so consistent. Now, you know, where did my number one favorite YouTuber go? I, he, where did he go? And then, I think he got really upset about that, and now, you know. He, he has an opportunity now to fight me, and I think he can use a lot out of that. So I think he's just it, – it's just coming from a fan. You know what I mean? He, like he, like I said, he was 
one of my first followers and you know i think he's just a little upset i haven't been releasing because you know life happens but you know don't worry divine i'll be releasing after our fight and you can go to your regular scheduled program of watching my podcast is it my turn now yeah go ahead yeah I first talking. of all it's look true. the fact that you said i was one of your first few followers is crazy because you've been in the scene a couple months before me so i'm not even gonna stand on that but you know what i'm saying uh i, I look I'm gonna be, I, look huh no nah, let me finish I'm gonna be real. I definitely, I bro, I I was the only one in your live streams. I was really the only one in your live streams every time you would go live. You know what I'm saying? Because I would ask you for advice because you were the first friend that I made. And then you gonna let a little miscommunication uh, ruin that? I don't think it's miscommunication, bro. I, I think, think it's I miscommunication. Think, I, I think you know exactly. I think you I know think exactly it's miscommunication. What you did. That's I think what you it know is. exactly what you did. No, I really don't because look, I look really, look. Because I've literally had conversations. You didn't. You you never people. told me though. You like if you oh, would have told did. me, I'd have never I did, done though. it, motherfucker. But, but I did. Okay. But okay. Did. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. You should. You should have. You should have told me from the jump instead of hiding like a little bitch. But it is what it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. That's why you didn't beat the fuck up, bro. Because you because you make fly little remarks okay. like that. Because you like make okay. little sly remarks okay. like that. Okay. Okay. All right. I have one more question from Gazi Twazi. Um. Um, why did you choose such a dumbass name for the scene? Skull emoji, not divine, obviously. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, I think it's been a, a pretty well perceived name, honestly. I think people, whenever they think, when they say the main card in Twitter spaces, they're like, oh, the person, or are you talking about the actual thing? So I think it's good, but I think divine fans trying to slip through any crack to try to find anything, you know, I'm going to slip my I mean, finger in your crack. It's not, it's not, We thought I was gonna say pause. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. nah. All right. Zoom. Continue. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was my last question. Um, listen, guys, this was intense. And um, do we have anything to say before we get out of here? Last time you're getting, we, you're we get getting to this your point. Beat. <laughs> the same thing you said like 10 times over. Uh, no, yeah, tune in July 27th. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was once again Breakout Behind the Gloves. If you want to get involved, make sure you follow Breakout Twitter at Breakout Boxing. Even though we can't see likes anymore, we still would like to see you liking our stuff, retweeting, and we also want to have you guys get involved because we love getting involved with our community. Also, July 27th, it all goes down. Get your tickets on Eventbrite down below if it is available at this time. And to stay tuned if you cannot make it in person because July 28th, you can watch the action live from your home, from your couch, from your bed, from your desk, from your co-worker's phone, from your phone, from your mom's phone, from your dad's phone. It's going to be the most spectacular small creator boxing weekend since its inception. And it's going to be fucking awesome. Break out behind the gloves. This has been awesome. This has been your host, Pat Typhlusion. We will see you all next time. And we will see you at the fights.